Now, a lot of people love the Ford Mavic for its affordability, but a few people sit there and they feel a little bit bad that it can't do the same off-road things that some of the bigger and better trucks can do. But Ford has tried to retcon that with the Tremor Triv level. So today we're gonna be looking at a few of the changes that come equipped with that to make this a more viable off-road option. Now, when you come to the front, there's going to be immediately a lot different. You have a completely new grille. You have blackout logos. You have some accent designs through and throughout. I don't know if that specifically comes with this trim level or if these are just added on on top, but I do think they look a lot nicer. It helps break the truck up a little bit more, letting it not just be a static color. Speaking of not being just one single static color, you have this orange, yellow, or gold. That's what people think. Ford officially says it's orange. I can see the orange. I can see the yellow. I can see the gold, but also I can't see color, so it's not really up to me. And you get the orange down here as well with the tow hooks, giving you a little bit more option when off-roading to pull things in and out of sticky situations, which is going to be nice because the Maverick also does have that two liter EcoBoost engine, which is going to be the one that creates more horsepower. It's not the hybrid. I personally like the hybrid overall for the Maverick, but for this one, it works a lot better because this is meant to be a bit more off-roady. So I do think that is a great option that they've included in this one in particular. I do think there's a lot of changes that have come to make this look a lot better. It works. It feels a little bit better driving in a specific scenario. I still think the hybrid is better for the normal Maverick, but this one does fit with the better engine. Other than that, we're going to start moving to the side where there are a few more accents to briefly touch on. Now the side of the Tremor, there are a few changes that really do set it apart from the normal Maverick. First and foremost, the rim of the tire has a nice orange texturing on it, which is another great thing that you're gonna see throughout the entire car. There's orange everywhere. There's orange on the Tremor logo in the back, but one of the big things that you're going to get is a one inch lift. It's nothing crazy, but it definitely does give you a little bit more confidence when you're doing those off-road trails. Now the back of the Maverick, there isn't that much that changes, but the one thing I do want to point out that is fantastic is you get this truck bed cover, giving you a little bit extra privacy in the back of your truck, giving you a bit more storage space. And when you're going off road, you don't have to worry about anything flying out, which is a great thing for the Maverick. Now the inside of the Tremor is fantastic. You have Tremor modes, which are like the GOAT modes and the Bronco, if you guys are familiar with that. Basically just giving you guys different driving modes that depend on what your scenario is and it's best fitting for it. And I think that's a phenomenal thing for this truck, giving you a bit more off-road options. It comes with a wireless charger now. It has the infotainment screen. This one has Apple CarPlay, but with wired. There is just a few things through and throughout. It is just a bit more fleshed out than the normal Maverick because it's going to cost more and it looks great. You have the orange stitching on the seat as well and the seats are comfortable this one over here is a power steering seat as well so you have a bit more options and it's easier to get you into the perfect driving position so overall the interior is fantastic the Tremor trim is one of the best things I think that has come to the Maverick. There are so many nice things spread throughout the truck, making it feel a lot better than the original Maverick did. Even though the original Maverick is a great option, I think the Tremor is worth looking at just for all the extra additional features. 